What is up, Drum Alert Nation? I'm your host, Keller Keemstar. Let's go right into the news. KSI loses three million dollars nico interviews like the leader of the kkk he does the video jidian was dreaming about allegedly the ace family is threatened to sue a small commentator charlie d'amelio turned 18 and creeps online are begging for an only fan karina kniff gets banned on twitch and then also edp 445 returns on tiktok yikes we got all these stories and much much more but before we jump into it make sure you're subscribed with the notifications on because you now as soon as i get the scoop i'm gonna keep you in the loop now if i look a little different today blame this guy look guys we got a lot of dark negative stories you know that's what drama it is so i figured we would start off with some good stories first off the boynton beach police sent this video showing absolute heroes a woman jumps out of her vehicle runs through traffic running up to a vehicle where the lady inside is having a medical emergency. She like passed out or whatever, right? So she's tapping on the glass. She's trying to get in. She's flagging down everyone to stop and asking for help. And that's exactly what these citizens do. They all start getting out of their car to slow down the vehicle, to stop the vehicle, to help the lady inside. They end up stopping this vehicle, breaking through one of the back windows, to get the lady the medical help she needs. It's amazing stuff like this where I'll, I'll just never lose faith in humanity. And speaking about medical emergencies, this is unreal. A passenger was forced to land this plane when the pilot had a medical emergency and like passed out. amazing stuff all right ladies and gentlemen let's get into the dirt edp 445 y'all know the story with this guy but if you don't i'll let ricky berwick refresh your memory hey y'all so pretty much man uh he's a p word guys this is edp about a year ago he tried to meet a minor from the internet for a quote-unquote cupcake now he's back on TikTok with over 200,000 followers. What the f TikTok? Guys, I want you to go to his profile, the OG EDP, and report his goddamn page. We can't have f***ing P words on here, all right? This is a P word. Report him. Amen, Ricky. And Ricky's not the only one calling out this. Some ordinary gamers tweeted out this scumbag has no shame showing EDP's TikTok. And another story surrounding some ordinary gamers, he tweeted out that he wants to work with a fitness YouTuber, get back into the right shape, and live longer. Maybe smack a dude in boxing? I don't know. Man, so many YouTubers are getting into boxing for the very first time. In fact, tonight is the creator class. Dr. Mike versus iDubbbz. I'm excited to see how that one turns out. But let's switch gears here a little bit. Karina Kadiff. All right, this is a photo of her. Apparently, this was her profile picture. And she got banned because this was her profile picture. That's right, streamer bans tweeting out that she was banned. She responded by saying, Twitch is so picky and choosy with what they decide what to ban people for. Couldn't even tell you what got me banned. But I see thong bikinis all day long on Twitch. Doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Actually, it's really effing weird. Yeah, guys, I must say, how is that bannable? Like, I, I gotta defend her. Like, that she shouldn't be banned for wearing that. But don't worry, guys, because she tweeted out, bored and horny, and Twitch unbanned her. See, Gideon? That's all you gotta do is tweet out that you're bored and horny. Also in the news, Charlie D'Amelio turns 18 years old, and all the creeps online started OnlyFans, started OnlyFans, and Insider has an article on this saying that she was flooded with demands to start an OnlyFans, part of a long history of harmful civilization of young stars. Yeah, guys, I mean, the same thing happened to Bad Baby. Like, the minute she turned 18, everybody wanted her to start an OnlyFans. She did, and she suffered so much from this. Apparently, she only made 50 mil- 50 million <laughs> Bad Baby made 50 million dollars from OnlyFans! Oh my god! Also 
So, in the news, one of my favorite YouTubers, Jack Sucks at Life, he's always doing creative things. Like, he collects YouTube play buttons. He has, like, every one you can think of. The new thing he started doing is helping YouTubers break Guinness World Record. And so, Jack filled out the application and whatever to help George Not Found get a world record for the most viewers of a live cooking show. He had 319,000 viewers. That's awesome. Keep doing your thing, Jack. Also in the news, a little bit of gaming news, Call of Duty's been topped. And you won't believe who got more sales than Call of Duty this year. Well, maybe you will. It's Elden Ring. They're reporting it officially went mainstream as it tops Call of Duty sales. And speaking about sales, the Ace family said that they sold out their summer event, that all the tickets are gone. You, you know this uh, Ace family carnival type thing they were planning on doing? Well, this smaller commentator, Sloan, he uploaded multiple videos speculating that the Ace family event was a scam. And apparently Sloan got letters from the Ace family's attorneys. So the Ace family actually sent me a legal letter, a cease and desist, because I made some videos about their Ace Fest. They did legally reach out to me and had me remove the two videos. They want me to issue a retraction. Girl, we're gonna need a lot of D. We're gonna need it spelled out because I don't issue retractions unless you're gonna prove to me that what I said was completely false because they told us the event sold out. And then a week after that, they have a lawyer come after me saying, you slowed down the ticket sales. Well, brother, that doesn't quite add up. How am I, how am I the one at fault for slowing down the ticket sales of your event that is sold out? If the event was in fact sold out, then there is no slowing of ticket sales because the tickets have been sold. Yeah, I gotta admit, it just doesn't make sense. If they sold out, how can he be affecting ticket sales? It just doesn't. Also in the news, Nico, okay? This man, had me in tears this morning watching this video. He uploaded a video where he interviewed a KKK leader. Bro, Nico trolls this man so hard. Roll it. How did you start your journey with the Ku Klux Klan? Did you get like assigned? Did they like start you off on like quests or anything? I, 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 was, I was always involved in- I don't care what he's involved in if I'm honest. I just wanted to move on to the more important questions. Have you seen any of like the other clans out there? I've seen clans like FaZe Clan, Optic Clan, I just think they're idiots. Yeah. Like yeah, no, one, no one would be a higher prestige level than you. Years ago I used to go and speak for some other clan. But after a while I thought these guys are idiots. Yeah, I didn't want to connect with these people. So I finally stopped no, speaking no. to other, other groups and so I feel that if I would have joined and pursued a career, scoping, I could have very, yeah. been very successful in those careers also. Yeah, they mean well but they just don't have what it takes to take their clan to the to the levels of the sure. Ku Klux. Would there be someone from FaZe Clan here? I don't know. We don't ask. We don't. Optic. You gotta watch this video. There, here's another clip of him trolling him. Roll it. I'm Thomas Robb. I'm here with Imar Nance and he's with BBC. Thank you all the people from the UK stand with KKK. Right here we have Thomas and he's going to be shouting your names out. I, I, I map. You say? I map. You say? I don't know my I map. You say? But I map. You say? Says can't wait. Well, I guess for the interview, so, well, there it is. As you can see, it's great. And then we got a Bielm. BL. BL. M. BLM. Yeah. So he's the best, I guess. Shout out BLM. I'm a shout out to you, and then. So shout out to who? To BLM. Yeah. Yeah, and it says you so, love him. I don't know. Hope that guy's not gay. So let's <laughs> Then Sue Kabedic. Sue. Sue yeah. Kabedic. Yeah, Sue Kabedic. Yeah. I guess I pronounced that right. Yeah. It says love him. So I, I appreciate people like me. I like I like yeah, no, all, the, like all these people are and that's the thing. Oh, you have fantastic. you have a lot of supporters well, in the UK. Thank you so much for shouting them out. That is so good. All right, so on last time alert, we talked about Gideon visiting the most racist town in America. And apparently Gideon and Nico had the same idea at the same time, and they ended up being in the same area at the same time. Nico tweeted out, so apparently I ran into some big American YouTuber in the most racist town in America, small world. Gideon tweeted out, so apparently I ran into some big UK YouTuber in the most racist town in America, small world. But speaking about Gideon, Gideon recently got banned on YouTube for watching KSI's music video. That's right, Gideon uploaded a video of him crying on Instagram Live because basically he was reacting to JJ's new music video and uh, it caused him to get a copyright strike and get banned.
And speaking about KSI, guys, we gotta buy some Prime. All right, we gotta buy as much Prime as we can get our hands on. We gotta help JJ. ASI lost three million dollars. This is coming from KSI's crypto Twitter. Uh, apparently, he put two point eight million dollars into this crypto coin called Luna and it crashed. It went down to a thousand dollars. He tweeted out, man bought the dip and lost. Wow, that has to sting. I don't care how rich you are, JJ, that has to hurt. But ladies and gentlemen, that is it for the news today. Guys, leave a comment if you're here on YouTube. We're back in widescreen. I heard you guys all complaining here on YouTube. I listen to my fans, we doing it wide. The only reason why I went portrait mode is because most of our viewers are on Snapchat, TikTok, and these other places where it is portrait mode. So listen, if you're watching us on Snapchat, come over to YouTube if you want the widescreen. Because you know, as soon as I get the scoop, I'm going to keep you in the loop.